Here you can see the wireless uh, four cameras. Uh, click on the links below and they'll lead you straight to websites where you can purchase these uh, wireless cameras. As you can see what's shown, you get the four cameras and the antennas. You get power leads. There's all the power leads in here. You get the box. Give you a bit of description there. And you get the box. Manual, CD, and a mouse. You look on the back. You have one for VGA, HDMI, LAN for your internet. So you plug into your router and then that will plug into this, which will then you'll be able to connect your phone um, to the Wi-Fi and, and check your cameras anywhere. Here you have your power and your USB for your mouse, which is here. Something else worth noting is it doesn't come with your Ethernet cable. So if you need this to hook from your box to your internet, you're going to need one of those. And something you will probably need is one of these extension power cables. If you notice, this is only a metre long. It's a very, very, very short power lead that comes with it. Very short power lead. Unless you have power sockets right next to where you're going to put your cameras, you're going to need these extra power extension leads, which you can buy from eBay, Amazon, uh, for about four pounds. This is a five meter, so I've had to buy two five meter leads. Because um, there's a good chance you won't have power right next to where you want to put all your cameras. So you can get these. Nice and cheap. What I'll do is I'll show you how to set this up now and show you exactly what the footage looks like and I'll walk you around exactly where I've put the cameras temporarily and I'll also show you this here. This is the app that you'll use to, on your phone so you can scan this with your camera and it will show you the app that you need to download. Now this connects very very easily. I've had a test run with this already as you plug this in, it literally pops up straight away. But one thing to also note is it doesn't come with the hard drive disk. So that's something I've added in, which I'll show you later, that I've installed it. I had to buy it separately. Um, I didn't realise when I bought mine. So that's why I'm making this video to show you what comes with, what extra bits you'll probably need, and make you more aware of how to set this up. Show you in the next video. Um, there's the antenna, this is how you lock it when you've got it in position. Uh, the three screw holes on the back, screw it into place. Uh, these are nighttime cameras, so you should see at night time, um, still see an image. Uh, it's got that attached. Uh, they're outside cameras, inside, outside. Um, as soon as you power these up, they come straight up, so it's quite straightforward. Um, you only need power attached, which I'll show you. Uh, these go 20 to 30 metres um, indoors, if you like, through walls, um, through floors, say 20 to 30 metres. It says if you're outdoors, so it's like open signal, it says the signal will travel 100 metres from the box to these cameras. But um, we'll see. I'll show you. Okay, now let me show you the box. Box here, I've got everything set up. Mouse, screen. As soon as you plug this in, this is how it displays on the screen. It comes straight up like this. Um, very straightforward. As soon as I click the cameras up, they pop up. They connect themselves. Very, very straightforward. Here's the box. At the back, you can see I've got HDMI lead. So the VGA I'm not using. I've got HDMI. I've got my internet connected already, my RJ45 cable. Here's uh, the USB for the mouse, and there's a power. Very, very straightforward. What I'll do now is I'll connect up these cameras and I'll show you this displayed on the screen. Okay, so here you have cameras set up. Literally just plugged into power. Plug them on, turn them on. Maybe takes about 10 seconds and they pop up on the screen. Very, very straightforward. Let me just show you. So I've got these set up around the house. You see the cat walking along there, look. one set up outside
here it was saying the corner see that online that's because I've connected the RJ45 going into the router is plugged into that so that would say online if you haven't got it connected to the router into the internet you won't that would say offline but you'll still be able to see these cameras up like this oh, that's blocking one of my cameras look <laughs> so that's how you do that now if I show you you can on the mouse here if you just right click you get this option come up here and if you go to Setup Wizard, here it pops up with these barcodes. One for Android, iOS for your iPhone, and iCloud here. That. So all you do is you go on to, you can click on those, look, so you show you those. You can scan these, um, but the main one that you want is you can just scan this box here with your camera. I'll show you that now. Got another camera. So if you just go on to, <coughs> this is an iPhone, so you go onto your camera here. Let's see. As you go there, look, it just comes up. See that at the top? Open DVR163. If you then click on this, it will show you, look, IP Pro 3. You say download. And you can download this app. This app is used for this box and it will bring these cameras. As long as you're connected to the internet, so you have from this box to your router plugged in, then you can get these cameras exactly like this displayed will come up on your phone, which I'll show you um, that set up on my phone shortly. Right now I'll show you this set up on my screen. So look, the IP Pro 3, click on this. This will come up now that we've downloaded the app. Click on that. And as you can see, that we set up. See the cameras live streaming. So there you go shows you set up there here you have recording playback screenshot um, everything you need there look. as I say this will only work if you have the router with an RJ45 cable there plugged into your router or you get that up on your phone but if you haven't got that plugged in that's fine you'll still get that come up on here and remember if you want it recorded, so everything recorded, you need a hard drive disc. Now my one didn't come with a hard drive, so I had to actually buy one separately and then mount it myself. But you can find some that have the hard drives already in, which I'll put in the link below, so you can just click on that, find one that's already set up for you, so you haven't got to install it yourself. Okay, in addition, <clears throat> is this HDD hard drive disk one terabyte uh, doesn't come with so this is something that you have to look into buying what I've done is I've opened this up already just to show you doesn't come with so as you can see these will attach here which I'll do so now. So you can see I've now plugged the leads in. So that's now connected. It should now give me recording <clears throat> so I can play back and everything that's been video recorded should be now saved onto that. Another addition that you'll need is this extension cable. Five meters, 10 meters, whatever you need. See, the length it comes with is only a metre long. So this is definitely something you'll need. Unless you have a power socket right next to where you're putting your cameras, you will need this. Guaranteed. Roughly priced around £4 for this. 
If you want a 10 meter, probably around more 10 pound. Another thing to add, look, it shows you the time, what cameras, it shows you the strength on each camera. So as you can see, this one's in the garden, so it's slightly less signal wise, look. It's dropping to two bars, up to three bars. So I'll show you exactly now where I've set them up. I'm just going to show you. So you have this one here. Plugged in there, look. That's all that is. Connected there, look. Power. That's all it is. You see the lead so short that that's all there is to it. Let's go and find the others. There's one here. Again, just power. This one up here, look. Connected here. As you can see how short the power lead is. Now we're outside, look. I'll show you this one here. This is the one I've set up here. As you can see, I've connected this one. But I've actually used the extendable cable this time just to show you that there's a good chance you're going to need this extension power cable. You see here where it's joint? See that? That's all there is. And then that's plugged in there. As you see, the lead's not very long. Right, so as you can see, this is everything that comes with it. Box, four cameras, power leads, the mouse, manual, disc, box, all of that good stuff. Some fixings there, and some little covers to protect the joins. Also when setting it up, you've got everything here you need. Shows you everything there. So it's about setting it up, that comes up on the screen. It'll pop up on the screen just saying admin. It says password underneath, you don't need any of that look. You just say okay, and that just takes you straight through to this page. Once you're on there, you can change the password, but um, yeah, that'll just pop up, say okay, you're straight in. Plug your cameras into power, 10 seconds or so, they just come straight up on these screens. Very, very straightforward. Now remember, I said it won't come with the RJ45, something you'll need to buy, or maybe something you have. Extendable cable, you're going to need to get these. Um, I'm pretty sure you're going to probably end up buying some of these. Um, unless you have power sockets right next to your cameras, uh, which is not in my case. Um, and something simple, something most people have around the house, but HDMI cables. Just double check the kit you're buying comes with one of these. If not, obviously you're going to need one of these also. So just something to bear in mind. <clears throat> if you like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up. Hopefully we can get enough likes that other people can